Bob. Hi. Hi, ladies. I, I wish I could hi. hug you, but apparently Joy, before we came on the air, said I've hugged her enough over the years, so she's good. <laughs> over have. the years, there you are. That's right. Here and I you're am. sheltering and uh, in place. <laughs> I, I'm living here, and uh, I, you know, I'm so sad for all the terrible things that are happening to people, but there's... For, for me, this uh, being quarantined is helpful because my wife is here and she can't leave me right now. So that's positive. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you this, Bob, but she could go in the next room. <laughs> yeah, she could. And she is. And we do. Just say it. But it All right. Um, <laughs> we were, we were, are, we're wearing masks at home just to be safe. Um, she's wearing a mask. Uh, I'm wearing, she makes me wear a mask with Brad Pitt's face on it, is kind of my going joke of the day. Um, it's hard. It's been very hard. And, um, you know, I feel for everybody and you guys, it's, it's, it's lonely. And uh, it's, I'm trying to do everything I can. I've become Danny Tanner. I've become this character that I didn't think I would be, who was a clean freak. And I'm, I'm Purelling everything and, and always cleaning. And, and that, that's fine. I can accept it. But I, I'm tired of using uh, cash register tape as toilet paper. I'm down to, like, brutal paper. <laughs> you know, that. Bob, um, you said you went out the other night to pick up food, and then you had a realization. I'm fascinated by that. What, what was your realization? Well, I hadn't gone out that much, just like you guys. It's like I, I went out, uh, and they said that this fine restaurant that I go to uh, puts the food by the curb, and then you call them when you're there. Oh, and so right. it's basically, it, yeah. it's a drug deal. It's the closest I've ever come to a drug deal uh, where, well, well, I won't go there. <laughs> but, they, you know, you pull up, the food's in the curb. Don't. It's on the side of the curb. I don't want it in the curb, so I have a box in the trunk. I pop the trunk. <laughs> they put it in the trunk. The funds have already been exchanged on a charge card. It just feels like we're living in a, I mean, you guys were talking about it. Would you report somebody during the pandemic? Um, it's like citizen's arrest is back. It's like we are truly in a, in a, it's a different, a different world. And um, I'm not a, yeah. a big, uh, I don't love the idea of, of exchanging funds and goods on the street. <laughs> Well, you and your co-stars, Bob, including our former View co-host Candace Cameron Bure, even updated the iconic Full House opening credits for this strange time that we find ourselves in. Uh, I loved it. Take a look. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paperboy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friend waiting just around. I mean, it's it looks cute. like all of us, right? So <laughs> how did that come about? Well, it's really interesting. Jeff Franklin, who created the show Full and Fuller House, uh, put out a text trail. And all of a sudden, the whole cast was on a text trail, which is kind of hilarious because we're living this sitcom. And uh, Candace uh, said her daughter, Natasha, who's 21, wanted to put this together. And she did. And we all filmed our little bits. I did one take that they couldn't use. Because if you put Purell in my hand and a mop handle in the other, uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't work out well on the first take. Uh, you can't use that for public <laughs> right. consumption. Right. So, 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 so Bob, it, it, uh, it traveled. <laughs> Sorry, Whoopi. So to, that's all right, baby. I want to make sure that we're talking about your new podcast, where you're going to be actually talking, taking calls from some of your fans. It's called Bob Saget's Here For You. Tell us about this, please. Well, that's uh, scary. Before before last year, <laughs> but before we got into this new year, I was upset about how the world was at, going at each other, and it's what you guys talk about every day. It's what you what we're all living. We're mm -hmm. we're just inundated, and I wanted to do something that soothed people. And I'm the only person I know that doesn't have a podcast. A kid across the street's got one, and. I came up with the idea of reaching out to people in a one-on-one -on -one kind of way. And so what it turned into once we were launching, and we launch uh, Monday uh, on 420, which is a magical day for some people, and uh, it's available free if you subscribe to Apple Podcasts. And I talk to people. I, I post on Twitter or Instagram a phone number the night before and the day of, and people call a number, 
and it'll be on all the podcast menus. And uh, they leave their message, and I call them and uh, a couple times a week. Okay. And I also have guests, and I also ramble myself with my thoughts. Uh, but it's to soothe people, and it's to have one-on-one -on -one communication with people because a lot of people are alone right now. And we talk about everything. And I, ha I do have a special guest. John Stamos was, of course, my first guest. And I had Macaulay Culkin and talking to Bill Burr today and Tiffany Haddish and John Mayer and um, a lot of my dear friends, Howie Mandel, who is kind of the prophet oh. of, you know, OCD, be careful. Um, and it's just really, it feels really good. For one thing, I'm contributing somehow. I was about to be on tour. I would be on tour right now around the country and then lead to a new special because I have all new material. But that's that's on hold as long as it needs to be. And I'm right. really enjoying this. It's it's very fulfilling. And I'm getting back a lot of what I, it's a real mutual exchange. And I'm sure you guys are feeling the same thing from people that you hear from. It's a it's a real healthy yes. exchange. Oh, Bob, 